Hey, okay, so, um, moment of truth time. Here's BB-8. Split flywheels. Remote control. Uh, this is actually um, much lower speed and not the instant acceleration because I'm just using the same programming that I had for the drive wheels. So now I'm just using the two spinners and let's see if this works. Ready? Okay, so they're not running full speed, anywhere near full speed. And it's really just uh, kind of a test. You see they kind of spring back because of just the, the way the cables are. I've got five pounds, five pounds on each wheel, and I've got an extra five pounds in the bottom just because I know more stuff is gonna be in there. This is spinning on a hard surface. And again, I'm not just you know jamming it, doing the instant acceleration. So that's limiting it. Um, okay, so let's take a look and see what's inside, right? I'm gonna unplug this. And uh, uh, my, my wiring sketchup is, oh, I'm a sketchup. My wiring setup is a bit on the sketchy side at the moment. Uh, let me, okay. So literally I still have the carriage all just uh, here. If you've seen the other videos where the carriage is. So I've got a Arduino with an XB shield on it and my IBT2 or the 7960, oh, pardon, I've got the wire in the, in the space there, uh, an IBT2 BTS 7960 uh, motor driver on there, and I've just uh, run it to my two motors inside that we'll take out a look in a second, and they're what's really controlling things. And then I have over here my uh, ad hoc uh, remote control, and so forward now is uh, one direction, and uh, backward is the other direction. Okay, um, I'm gonna unclip a couple of things just to kind of make things a little bit on the safer side here. Um, like I said, I went a little bit uh, kind of sketchy on my, my setup here because it's all temporary. Hopefully I don't accidentally short circuit anything. Um, it's running off this uh, big 16.0, uh, 16,000 uh, 16, milliamp hour batteries. It's it's kind of on the huge side. Uh, it's about a, basically a 12 volt battery. It, uh, well, no, no, it's not. This is a 14.8, so I can get uh, a lot of current out of that and a lot of voltage out of it. So it drives the motors a little bit faster than the specs, which is generally okay. Uh, most of the time, oh, sorry that uh, my cord is really in the way there. Um, most of the time people are like specking their motors for 12 volts because that's what's uh, around most of the time. Um, but I went with uh, slightly bigger. Okay, so like I said, if we look here, I'll give you a little bit, <laughs> as I'm dragging things across here, I can uh, disconnect things a little bit more here. Um, I have the, uh, again, Arduino with an XB shield on it and my uh, BTS 7960 uh, motor driver over here. Uh, power from the motor goes to there. I have a uh, battery elimination Ubeck uh, down here that runs the Arduino at uh, the five volts that it needs. Uh, you can run it at six volts or whatever, but I, I like to run it at five volts. And then the motor is controlled by that. All right, so I'm gonna stop the video and uh, we're gonna look at what's inside here, okay? All right. <laughs> 